Hi Pisces! Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for June of 2020. This month we've got some pretty intense eclipses going on and also we've discovered a COVID degree that is going to tell us some stuff about the course of the pandemic and how that lands for you specifically and um, we're going to begin of course as we usually do with Mercury, Venus and Mars. I'm Jamie Kale Miller of Pandora Astrology and Julia Mijas is going to be going, uh, begin with Mercury. Hey, Julia, what's up for Pisces this month? Right on. Well, hey, Pisces. Mercury starts the month in the sign of Cancer, which is your fifth house. Mm. And uh, Mercury is going to be going retrograde in this house on June 17th. And whenever Mercury goes retrograde, it's a time of review of um, communication and also whatever um, is represented by the house it's going retrograde in. So if you have any children, um, because the fifth house can represent children, then you might have miscommunications with them during this transit. And you also might be reviewing. Troubles with homeschooling, right? Oh, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah, homeschooling too. This could be when you really organize be, that. <laughs> uh, Venus starts the month in the sign of ret uh, month retrograde in Gemini, which correlates with your fourth house mm. of uh, family and home. And when Venus, the relationship planet, goes retrograde, it's a time of review in our relationships. So because it's the fourth house, you might be consider wondering and thinking and reviewing whether your partner is nurturing you enough or mm. whether you are nurturing your own partner enough and whether you can feel like family with your partner. Mm. Uh, then on June 25th, Venus finally goes direct, which is going to feel great because, Ooh. you know, the relationship asteroid has already gone direct earlier. So the end of um, this signals the end of a giant relationship retrospection period we've all been going through. Yeah. So that's going to ease goodness. up. And then Mars starts the month in Pisces, which correlates with your first house of self. So you could feel extra, extra gener energized because you're embodying Mars energy. And that also means that you're much more willing to kind of assert yourself and, and stand up for yourself. But just make sure that you don't overdo it, Pisces. <laughs> then on June 27th, Mars enters Aries, which correlates with your second house of values. So you could be putting more energy towards what your values are or even having some conflicts over your values. Mm. So true. So we have a couple of eclipses this month. We have the first one coming up uh, at the beginning of June on the 5th and 6th. And that shows the moon falling in your 10th house of career and the sun here in your 4th and Mars is squaring it from your 1st house. Now the 10th house of career is a heck of a place to have an eclipse because an eclipse, especially a lunar eclipse, shows you your shadow. And because it's lunar, it's going to be emotional in nature. And, um, and because Mars is involved, there may be anger involved. So you may feel angry, like you need to assert yourself, like you need to, um, you know, uh, be very willful under this eclipse. And you may really feel that in your career domain. So cool your jets. Uh, think before you move. Um, then later in the month, on the 20th, we have another eclipse, this time a solar eclipse, which is falling in the sign of Cancer, and that's your fifth house, which, as Julia said, is the house of children. Uh, it's also the house of creativity. It's a house of fun and self-expression. It's a house of pride and um, and self uh, self-knowledge, self-discovery. Um, a solar eclipse shows you your shadow too, but it does so in a more behavioral way. So you may find yourself behaving in ways that are linked to your pride. And so um, because an eclipse shows you your shadow, it's quite possible that you will have some emotionally driven, unconscious behavior that is connected with your pride and which everybody around you is just like, wow, that's really your shadow side there, dude. So, you know, be aware of that. Uh, watch out for that. Um, now, we also have this COVID degree that we've discovered, and we've made a video about it called The Astrology of the Coronavirus Pandemic, and you'll find that in our June 2020 news playlist, also our playlist for the whole year, which is a 2020 news playlist. And in that video, we explain how a hot degree got created in January at 22 degrees of Capricorn your 11th house and how that degree is going to be triggered several times throughout the year likely to uh, on dates very specific dates which are likely to show us um, 
surges like flare-ups of the pandemic and also the potential for angry mobs. So those are dates to really have as a caution. And for you, because this appears in your 11th house, you're likely to experience the pandemic as related to your sense of tribe and your ideologies. And by ideologies, I mean the sort of thing that you'd stand up on a soapbox and talk about to a group of people. And so um, there could be some ranting that you feel like you need to do. And, uh, and I just want to caution you that those dates are ones to avoid placing yourself in a group situation because it could get downright dangerous. And also social media is a big caution because that's a very 11th house thing too. Okay, so that's the stuff that we have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got use out of it. I hope you'll stay safe. And um, if you wanted to take the themes of this horoscope into a reading, I would think that a family soul group reading would be a great choice where you can look at uh, your family members and yourself and how you fit together as a family and how that can be optimized. Um, but if you really want to just uh, have a more general reading where you can touch on many topics, the natal and transit reading is uh, always a great one to get. We love you, Pisces. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next month and all around the cosmos. Bye. Bye. -bye.